Here's one of my game shelves. This is mostly my Genesis and NES games. Uh, but up here I have this uh, little rack of Atari games and I just kind of filled it with some of my favorite titles uh, that I like or I think have really cool artwork or just you know fun games like Atlantis this is always one of my favorite games um, Mousetrap obviously fun game Laser Blast fun game River Raid is great Jawbreaker this is a really cool game it's an odd cartridge I've never seen anything like this it's red and it's basically kind of a Pac-Man ripoff but it really kind of has a cool sense of humor and it's a pretty fun game. And then this other game, I never played it, it's called Fast Food, but I love the um, extremely questionable, uh, explicit or not artwork. You know, take what you will. I just think that's hilarious. These are my NES games. I don't have a lot because these are ones that I have amassed myself. These are not the ones that I grew up with that my, my family owned. I mean, I've got a couple, but these are ones I basically started collecting them myself. So I don't have a ton, but I've gone to stores and kind of got either games that I thought looked kind of cool, games that I thought had cool cases, you know, like a Tengen game, obviously, or these kind of weird off-brand games. And games I really liked, like Dragon Spirit. This is probably my favorite NES game. Other games, really fun. Stinger, I always loved. Life Force, Castlevania, Goggle 13, you know, just a lot of fun games. Obviously the bulk of this is Sega Genesis games, although I do have some, uh, these are NES games also. These are in uh, boxes that I had. There was a, a store here that closed out uh, a whole bunch of games they used to have for rental, and it still had the boxes for some of them. So that's why I have some of these. And, you know, not all of these are good games, but I just got them because, you know, I liked the box art or I just thought it was kind of cool. I can have a couple of Super Nintendo games, but I don't own a Super Nintendo. I've never owned a Super Nintendo. But Brutal is a game that I've liked on other systems. And like the same, I got it with this cell and it was cheap. And same with R-Type. I love R-Type. And this just has really cool artwork on it. And someday I'll get a Super Nintendo. These are these uh, kind of plastic rental cases, and I wouldn't normally keep these. I don't think these are that great, but I like these because they have this cool Sega logo. They actually have the real Sega logo on the box, so I kept those two. And then I just have a bunch of my favorite Sega games. Um, I really like collecting the boxes. The box art is, you know, I think one of the best parts about these games. Uh, and just kind of some of my favorite, these are in no particular order, but Musha, Musha, however you want to say it, this is the best Genesis game ever made. I love this game to death, and turns out this game has ended up being kind of rare, and you know, I bought it when it was new, uh, but now, like, this is one of the most sought after uh, Genesis games ever made, and uh, I can see why, because it's a great, great game, it's a vertical shooter. Altered Beast, I got that with my Genesis. Mine came packaged with that. This was before um, Sonic the Hedgehog came out. Galaxy Force 2, this is not a very popular game, um, but I really like it because I liked the, I played the actual arcade game. So I kind of have a fondness for this game. And it's just kind of a cool, it's like a space version of Afterburner, you know, and it's, you know, not spectacular, but it's a fun game. And more on this later, you'll know what I'm talking about. Mutant League Football, obviously, great, great game. I cannot believe there has not been a modern remake of this game. This is, I don't even like football games. This game is incredibly fun. I played the hell out of that when I first got it. I have some import uh, Genesis games, or Mega Drive, whatever you want to call it. And the cool thing about the Genesis is that, you know, a cartridge is a cartridge, and it'll play it. Um, you need to have a little adapter because the games are slightly different shaped in Japan than they were in the US and I found an adapter that you know basically bridges the gap but uh, in my video if you saw the JVC XI system has a wider slot and you don't need the adapter these go right in 
Also, if you have a 32X, it has a wide adapter uh, cartridge slot for the 32X games, and these import games fit right in. You don't need the adapter. But these I like. I like these for the box art, um, and I just think they're kind of cool. This is this puzzle game called Mega Panel. Uh, this is kind of a, I guess, erotica game. You, it's like Tetris, but you solve a puzzle, and when you solve it, you're these scantily clad women are behind it, although this game is super hard. And this is Outrun. Funny thing, uh, Outrun for the Sega Genesis is kind of hard to find, or when you do find it, it's kind of expensive. But I was able to find this Japanese version for really cheap, and it's the same game. This is also an import, but this is actually an import from Australia. This is Turbo Outrun, which was not released in the U.S. So, I'm glad to get a hold of that. I was really into shooters, so games like uh, Vapor Trail, Aero Flash, these were a lot of fun. Elemental Master, Truckston. If we go over here, some more games. These are Genesis games that I don't have the boxes for that I got second hand or whatever. This is the adapter I was talking about. It's made to fit a Genesis, and you just plug the game in the top. These are, and I like, I like uh, these kind of odd, you know, shaped cartridges. This is a Genesis game, but you can tell it's much smaller than a regular Genesis. This is a Bible game, Exodus. And I just kind of like these, these odd shaped cartridges. Here, uh, over here is my 32X uh, collection of games. I got a lot of these used, like at Blockbuster and stuff, when they were getting rid of them. Some of them I don't have boxes for. These are Game Gear games. Um, a lot of these I got used. And uh, Sega Master System. Mostly white games, although sometimes you have these odd ones. Like this is a black one. Rampage is in red. And here's what I was talking about. This is Galaxy Force made for the um, Master System. And this is actually a really good looking game for an 8-bit system. But uh, the best part about this box is the back. Graphics that will kill you. I don't know what else to add to that. That's a bold statement. A game that threatens your life. Galaxy Force. These are my Sega CD games. Um, not a lot of great games, but some good games, some fun games. This is the first game I got, Robo Alesta. It's basically a sequel to Musha. It's a cool... Uh, vertical shooter. A lot of good shooters on this game. Android Assault was a good shooter. Sega, or I mean Sonic CD, widely considered the best Sonic the Hedgehog game, and it is really good. Um, Space Adventure, this is a really kind of weird game, but it is, it is pretty fun. And yes, this is Marky Mark, make my video, I got it for a dollar. These are my Jaguar games. Uh, these I have boxes for most of them, except for a couple. And uh, these are Jaguar CD games. Uh, Dragon's Lair, this is probably the best home version of Dragon's Lair that I played. Uh, I haven't played any like for the PS2. That's probably just as good. Most of these games suck. Uh, Raiden's pretty good. Burnout's really good. Defender, Tempest, and I have Alien vs. Predator. Really good. Most of the other games suck. These are my Sega Saturn games. Big Sega Saturn fan, obviously. And I really like most of these games. Worms, my all-time favorite uh, Saturn game. One of my all-time favorite games. Um, a lot of other fun stuff. Galactic Attack was a great shooter. Uh, Daytona USA, Touring Car, those are really fun racing games. Duke Nukem was really fun on this. Burning Rangers, one of the last uh, Saturn games made. We have, these are my 3DO games, and all these are in boxes. And some of these are pretty fun, like Killing, Killing Time, this was a cool first person uh, shooter that was just plagued by really bad controls. If this game had better controls, it would have been a really, really cool game. Burning Soldier, this was like an on rails shooter. And I think this was the first game I bought uh, for the system. And this was just a really fun game. Wolfenstein 3D. This is probably the best version of Wolfenstein uh, that I've played. Demolition Man. Pretty stupid game, but uh, kind of fun to play. So those are my games. Those are my game shelves, my games boxes, game systems. Hope you liked watching them. I like showing them.